So once you're done exporting it, uh, you're going to make it an extra warning. You're just going to press OK to everything. And then after that, you can minimize that. You can minimize your 3ds Max. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to create a track folder if you don't have one. So what you're going to do is this is what I do. I just let's say I want to we just grab a track folder and we're going to now go into our folder here with all of our mods and we're going to put this into our progress. Now we're going to right click and paste it. It's going to copy in. Now in this case we're going to rename the folder to Point Peely because that's what the track is. And then if we highlight this, or actually we'll put Point Peely carding and we're going to highlight this and copy it. After that, uh, if it has configurations or things like this, you can actually just delete those. So you can delete all those folders. Now, anything that has the name GameBridge, because that's what the folder used to be called, you're going to highlight all of those, right click, rename, and then just uh, paste paste the new name on there. If it has .tk, uh, .tsc, don't worry about it. That's what it's supposed to be. And there you go. And also if it has this right here, this LYT, you can also delete that because you don't have layouts. Now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to change the name of the track, which is what it's going to look like in game. So in this case, we're going to name this Point Peel, uh, Peely Carding. And then if you just copy this, and then highlight this and then paste. Uh, this is just the track information here and then for the author you can put your name there. And then once you're done close it and save and that's the first step. Next we have to open up a program called FBX to EDF. You can download that off the Kart Racing Pro forum. Actually I'll show you right now where it is. So if you search up Kart Racing Pro forum you'll probably get something like this. You're going to click on this. Go to track editing where you probably found this video. Go to track creation guide and then you're going to do track tools and then you're going to have to download these. this right here, track tools, tt.zip. And then when you download that you'll get FBX to EDF, you'll get trained, tracked, and uh, you won't get this, this is from something else, but yeah, you'll get these. So once you have FBX to EDF, you're going to double click on it. You're going to double click on FBX to EDF. You're going to put it on map. You're going to press load. Now in this case, I have mine already preset, but let's say it starts you off over here on your desktop. In order to get to it, you go to documents, 3ds Max 2021, exports, and then all of your stuff is right here. So you're going to click on the thing that you exported, the, export, the name that you gave it, you're going to press open, you're going to press save, and then you're going to go to wherever you put your thing, so in this case it would be over here, and then point Peely. Now, since you made it a map file over here, or it's we put it as map, you're going to have to click on the map file right here. Click on that, you're going to press save, it's going to ask you to replace, you're going to say yes, and once you're done that, you're going to press convert. Now, give it a second to do all this. It is gonna. It might take a while. It might not. But if all goes well, it should look something like this. If you get warnings saying um uh, some a texture that you use .tga is not to the power of is not to the power of two, and it says which one, I'd recommend going and finding that, and then and then making sure it's to the power of two. And to make it to the power of two, make sure the dimensions are either 512 by 512, 1024 by 1024, or 2048 by 2048, etc. So, this may take a while depending on how big your track is, but let it load, don't try and do anything in the background, just let it do its work. And once it's done, it should say ending log. I don't know, if you're, if you're getting bored waiting, go like play Clash of Clans or something. I don't know. Go do school. It's a good idea. Do school. Actually, the reason it's taking a while is because we forgot we forgot something. When you go to make your trees, 
make sure over here before you merge them make sure your length segs and width segs are at one because if you put it at four that means more polys and more lag and that makes the file way bigger as well so make sure you put all of them down to one before you before you export it that's something I should have said before but once it's done exporting and it says ending log next put it on collision save and then put it to the TRP file once it's for collision you're gonna press yes and then you're gonna con and then you can convert it this will be a lot faster since it's just the collision stuff and it's done already so once that's done everything's saved into that folder now now you're gonna open up your trackid press on file load and then in this case again go back to your track so desktop create my mods progress point peely and this is gonna give you the TRP file you're gonna open that and here's your track right here so you're gonna press on center line and new add segment now this is very annoying to do but what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down Z if you wanna move around and stuff and wherever you start your segment is normally where you wanna put your start finish line so let's say your start finish line wants to be right here we're gonna do this and then create a center line uh, make sure you do this step please when you go to make a track because if you don't and you have something like max HUD or you actually want to be able to your laps to count you will have to do this and this does take a while so just patience I'll just do it for this configuration here also if you want to put if you want to block off configuration again you can also put barriers there using the line and then once you're done that I'm not making this really accurate so I'd recommend if you're gonna do this make sure you actually make it really accurate kinda rushing it a bit and then once you're done you're gonna merge it you're gonna press on surface generate you're gonna go to edit and then you're gonna try and match it to the track width so in this case it would probably be around negative six and nope we're gonna go one more down so edit and we're gonna put it to negative five so there we go. That's the first step done. Next, you're going to go to View and Race Data. You're going to select Kart Racing Pro. Now, to put your start finish line down, what you're going to do is you're going to put your left to negative six and your right to negative or six. Now, your splits, you're going to press on splits here, and it's going to automatically put the splits in, and these are your sectors. And next, for your speed trap, wherever you want your speed trap to be. Uh, put your mouse to where you want it and then in the bottom right you're gonna see long which is over here so this right here so let's say we want to put it there the long would be 72 we don't need to put the decimals not really necessary so it says for long so 72 and then we'll put negative 6 and 6 and then these are mandatory by the way the checkpoints so these checkpoints are basically your track limits so if you just place them around your track, kind of, there you go. And then if you want to make them smaller, then for all of them, you have to type in negative 6, or not for all of them, and then put 6 over here as well. And then this is the penalty. So if you're satisfied with all of this, the next thing to do is to put where you spawn. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to put it to absolute, number of pits, you're going to put to 24, because that's the maximum. Put the columns to whatever you want, I'm just going to put them to 2. I'm going to put the space into 4 and 4 and you're going to see your pits are over here and that's because the X and Z are 0 and 0 let's say we want to spawn over here the X and Z are 109 and 16 and I got that from over here so you're going to type in 109 and 16 and that puts the pits over here now they aren't at the right angle so now you just have to play around with this so in this case it's probably going to be around negative 90 
Again, we didn't make the pits very big, so you are gonna if when you go to make a track, please make sure the pits are actually made properly and that you spawn in the right area and if they're wide enough. And if you're satisfied with this, you can close this. And then after you're going to go to grid, you're going to put it... If you just click on carts right here, it'll automatically put the grid spots over here. And then this is where you spawn when you put it to race. Like if you want to put it to pre-final or final, you'll spawn on track right here. And once you're done with that, you're going to close this. You're going to press save. You're going to save it to this file right here. Because it'll only give you one. You're going to press save. It's going to ask you to replace. You're going to say yes. Then you can close this, file, save, point peely, save, replace, and yes. And once you've done all that, you can load it into Kart Racing Pro. So now you're going to go grab your file, tracks, progress, point peely karting. You're going to copy this. Oops. Go to your tracks folder, right click and paste it in. And there you go. Now you have your point peely karting. And I have another version of it, but it's, it's good. So now you can open your car racing pro. May take a second to load. And then you can go to testing or race, doesn't matter. And then, because it's called point peely karting, you can select that and then press start, and then you'll load in. And you can drive around, do laps. If your lap times are not showing, that means you didn't do something right, so you can just go back to this tutorial after and just see what you did not do. And once you load in, there you go. Here's the track. Uh, I'm going to show you one more thing now, just because it's useful. Uh, if you want to quickly exit out of Kart Racing Pro, you can just make your game crash by spam clicking once you exit. Uh, let's say you don't like the photo that's on the track, like the preset photo. So tracks, progress. So when, you load, when you're in Kart Racing Pro and you see the photo that, like the preview photo, when you load in, if you don't like it, um, what you can actually do is you can make your own. They're very easy to make. Let's say you want to quickly get one, so we can you can actually just search up point peely carding. You can go to images, quickly grab something like this. Uh, if you open up in GIMP. You have to make it 512, you have to make the dimensions 512 by 512, so you have to make it a square. So in this case, here's your photo. And because we have to make it a square, we have to kind of make this image smaller, but if you find something that's more squarey, then... So let's say we want to use this, right? We go to image, scale image, and then we make it 512 scale obviously this is very bad quality but that's okay and then we're going to export it and then what we can actually do is we can just put it right into our track progress point beauty carding then we can just save it as the preview.tga and then we're going to replace it export and then once it's in there we can go back we have to go back here and redrag the track back in Just out of personal preference, I like to just delete the track completely before I put the new one in, so... That way, less chance of something not working. And then once that's in, load up your Kart Racing Pro. And then when you go into here, this the, you have the new picture here. 
So that's how you make a track for Kart Racing Pro. This is only for flat tracks, by the way. I'm probably going to make tutorials in the future on how to do tracks with elevation. So, um, please like and subscribe, I guess. I don't know.